All right, first roll of film in this thing after modification for Ultrapan is black and white 40 reversal from the Film Photography Project. It's only gonna go through once, so I'm not going to be flipping this, so they're gonna get their reel back. Uh, but it looks like it is functioning just normally. Results to follow. And here we go. Uh, this is eight millimeter footage. Uh, it's the camera has been modified to double uh, the frame. So it's a uh, ultra pan eight or ultra eight is like just because the pan's too much for me. But you can see here that uh, I modified it and I did not mess up the frame lines as it zooms towards you. Um, it's still crispy in a defined frame line, which is excellent because that's what I wanted. That was my biggest fear is that I went too far outside of the, uh, the line when I was just kind of modifying it. Um, but uh, one thing that's also great is I don't see any scratches. Uh, no scratches, uh, which means I buffed down the, uh, uh, the film gate enough and the machining was clean, so pretty rad. Uh, right now I've got the frame, so you're seeing like basically all, from a Super 16 wide, but half tall. Um, so this, this aspect ratio is I think like 3.2 uh, to one if you wanted to see the perfs which is fun, um, but I'll zoom in here in just a second, um, and you'll see that it will go to its true 2.8 to 1 aspect ratio um, right here, and boom, now it's just wide and cool and vintage -y and stuff, but uh, yeah, there, there you have it. That was the dream right there uh, quite a few years back when I realized that 8 millimeter was just 16 millimeter flipped over with a tinier frame. So I was like, why don't I just take out the rest of it? Now I have. Anyways, uh, but uh, this film right here is uh, the Film Photography Fro film photography Project uh, Reversal 40. It, uh, I think it might be slightly more sensitive than 40 or maybe the 40 is for indoor rating. I don't know. It does not like overexposure at all. Um, but uh, all in all, like, you know, it's, it's not bad at all. I'm pretty pleased the proof of concept works out. Um, one thing I am discovering is that uh, the lens that I bought for this modification, it's a Psalm 17 to 85 with the, uh, the dog leg finder that was designed to go on non-reflex 16 millimeter cameras. Um, something's up with it. It's, it's either the back focus is set wrong or it, during the modification project process. I didn't change where it mounted the, uh, the film gate. So the film gate should be true to the C mount of the original Bolex H16. But either way, that's getting in the weeds. But uh, something's up with it. That last stuff was all shot at about F11. This is uh, about F28 to F4. And as you can see, it's just soft. Um, but... So I think I have to have that lens serviced. You know, it's always a crapshoot when you're buying stuff on eBay, even if it looks like it's in good shape. But uh, yeah, it's a very nice wide frame. You can fit a lot of people in there. Interesting compositions to be had, uh, which I like. Um, you know, you can be very intentional. Uh, I think that I'll probably go with uh, like the side finder and prime lenses after after this for the next roll if I don't get around to having that lens service or finding somebody that can do it. Um, anyways but uh all in all i'm i'm pretty pleased with the results the no scratch um is great the fact that uh the film is well my modification didn't didn't mess up the camera like the registration's good the shutter timing's good the the flutter that you see there is at at the start and the stop which is very interesting so maybe the shutter timing's a little bit out or there's a little bit of of resistance that's causing it to to flat to flash but it should be doing it every frame if i truly did mess it up um either way uh pretty stoked uh that i was uh able to make this little modification and i did not ruin a perfectly good camera the uh the h8s um is i think from 65 it's the last model before they went over to the reflex it's very very good condition uh, and I'm just glad that I didn't mess it up and now I've got a very fun new aspect ratio to play with. 
But uh, thanks for checking this out. Uh, I'll be zooming it back out a after in this shot here so you can see back to the perforations in the entire frame that I scanned. Scanned on a movie stuff uh, film scanner. So there you have it. Pretty stoked in the results. Thanks for watching.